Welcome to this video about Space Haven. I'm your spaceship engineer, I simulate. I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you are also a simulation game lover. Our current sector is in a siren world. The planets give strange signals that mess with the mind and can cause crew members to act in a strange manner. After a while, some of them start showing symptoms. Alexis has insomnia. Liz acts aggressively, Bennett suffers from psychosis, cannot tell what is real and what is not. What's more serious is Violet's condition. She has this sudden urge to destroy and she can't resist it. Fortunately, it will only last for an hour. During this hour, she cannot work and cannot be drafted. Fingers crossed she doesn't make too big a mess. Oh no, she sets fire to our generator. How could you, Violet? After this, this urge in her is gone. But she still has this schizophrenia. Poor Violet is seeing aliens everywhere. I think it's wise to jump to another sector before the situation gets worse. Pirates are coming. ETA 1 hour. Let's see if I have locked this door. Okay. Name of the pirate ship is PCS Blightham. Captain Casey announces they are preparing the boarding party and their shuttle is already on its way. We should get ready too. Let's gather our warriors, Alexis, Bennett, Seamus, Violet, and Safira. Please stand by behind the cover objects, and Violet, please deploy the sentry gun. They have entered. They will need to breach our defensive wall first. Here they are. We have been expecting you. Fire! I actually timed this and it lasts for 10 seconds. Elwin is the only survivor. Let's talk to him. You won this one, but we will get you someday. Okay, bye. See you next time then. It's very strange their chateau just leaves without taking Elwin with them. While our warriors do not lower their guard, another crew member, Aldo, comes to clean things up, oblivious to the presence of a pirate. How reckless, Elwin! That's suicide! You should have wait for your shuttle. Here it is, and now it can only live without you. I guess this is over? Shall we all go back to work and rebuild this wall? Hey, the pirate shuttle is coming again. Get ready for another battle. This time, we are deploying two sentry guns, one on each side. Revenge of the pirates. It lasts for 8 seconds this time. Let's have a conversation truly. Cease firing with settlements? Good idea. Even though we cannot be friends, we don't have to be enemies. Don't mess with the ice cream ship. We meet the same pirate ship like him in another sector. It seems they didn't learn their lesson. Truly, who offered us a ceasefire last time, enters our ship. Our warriors take up positions, our sentry guns are deployed. Really? Truly? It's over before it started. Please leave. History repeats itself. After some time, Truly opens fire again, earning herself a swift end. And then I realized the pirate ship Lightham is now a derelict. A deep feeling of sorrow washes over me. As our crew explores their ship, I can picture how the band of pirates used to live and work here. After our last encounter, Truly was the only one left, and now she has also joined her friends. But it's either us or them, right? If we were not capable of defending ourselves, the ice cream ship would be the one going down this pathetic fate. Plasma weapons are unlocked, and we can make them using the item fabricator. The plasma cluster gun uses plasma cluster munitions, which release smaller submunitions on impact. It has a high damage per second, 77.1, but its accuracy is only 10%. The plasma rifle fires superheated bolts of plasma. Its damage per second is 37, and its accuracy 20%. Both of these require 5 weapon skill points. Let's make one of each, as only Alexis and Bennett have more than 5 weapon skill points at the moment. I was really looking forward to encounters with aliens after acquiring the plasma weapons. In my opinion, it is less spectacular than when we upgraded to laser weapons. Nevertheless, the plasma weapons do their job. And in this encounter, we can see how the submunitions from the plasma cluster gun perform. We definitely finish off Hollis faster now, this time without any sentry gun. And this time with a sentry gun. 
Let's take an other look and compare the different weapons. The laser pistol has the shortest cooldown, its DPS is not bad, over 30. Overall, I think the laser rifle is the best, DPS 35 and accuracy 30%. Comparatively, the plasma rifle's DPS is only a little higher and its accuracy is down to 20%. The plasma cluster gun has a very high DPS, but the 10% accuracy really hampers its performance. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the game. Stay tuned and enjoy Space Heaven. See you next time. Take care.